Now I'm old and gray and we're racing our custom wheelchairs in the nursing home. <laughs> I want to be able to look back and say that's what we did together. This, right. this is our life and we're building it. Linden, and I'm from Lumberton, Texas, and I'm in Sunset. I'm Tiffany, his wife, and I'm also in Sunset. We joined Sunset in February of 2017, I believe it was. I'm actually, uh, we both held officer positions. I'm VP right now. Um, and I'm the treasurer of our she, chapter. Yes. We've been together almost 10 years. Married for almost nine. Almost nine years married. We met at a good friend of mine's wedding. I was talking about a car that I've been building yeah. since before that and I'm still working on. <laughs> yeah. We were at the bachelor party and uh, yep. he had, he was sitting right beside me and he asked, um, or he said something about a Nova. And I was like, you, you got a Nova? And he's like, yeah. I was like, what year? He's like, a 70. I was like, you got a 1970 Chevy Nova? And he's like, yeah. So what do you got done to it? And we've talked every day since. I can't finish it because she might leave me. <laughs> so, it's still a project. Yeah. <laughs> if people bring up, why don't you just sell the car? Like you're not doing anything. And those are divorce words. Yep. Like, we'll have a custody battle over the Nova before we will the kids. <laughs> <laughs> so my first interests were actually tractors. I grew up on a ranch. And so I would get to, you know, go ride on the tractors to fall asleep. And, uh, we had a tractor that broke down once and our ranch hand came out and was working on it and I tootled my little self out there and was like, I want to help and I started helping and that was pretty much all she wrote. I mean, my uh, my dad kind of fidgeted a little bit. Um, I lived with my Aunt Kim and Uncle Will for a while and he's big automotive buff too. And so every chance I got, you know, like I was in the shop with him turning wrenches, learning as much as I could. Like my uncle Will's my idol in life. Like he's, you know, nobody will ever come up above my uncle Will. And um, he, he pretty much was the one that just instilled it all in me, you know, like learn it all. And so I did and I love it. I mean, my freshman year of high school, my science fair project was how an engine works, you know, cause chicks dig it. I grew up in North Texas, a little podunk town called Nocona, Texas. Most people know it for their boots, a Nocona boots and, and leather stuff, um, and Nocona ball gloves, which is the only ball glove made in the United States. I grew up in Moss Bluff, which is a small town north of Lake Charles, Louisiana. It started really early. I tell most people I'm the kid that was born with a 916 in his pocket, and my Hot Wheels just got bigger. Uh, my dad was into it. I remember my grandpa, and my dad telling me stories about my great grandpa being the only mechanic in so many hundreds of miles within where he lived in Oklahoma that could tune up a Duesenberg. It started early. I uh, was always big into engines, anything with wheels. It started with hot rods and muscle cars. And somewhere around the time when I was in middle school, this little Ford Ranger caught my eye that an older guy had. I fell in love with it. That and mini trucking. And after that, I've built, I don't know how many at this point, from myself, helped other people. I just love them. My dad had like a 80s model creeper van <laughs> and like in sixth grade, he would hand me the keys and hop in the passenger seat and be like, all right, let's go to the store. Let's go across town and being from a little bitty town, you know, you, you can do it. I would drive myself to school in it and he'd hop <laughs> into the driver's seat. Um, that thing was a beater. We had a bench seat just sitting in the back of it, you know, for us to sit on, wasn't bolted down or nothing. We had a lot of fun in, in, in that thing. We'd roll around in it, it was great. Um, my first vehicle though, was uh, an 80 model Cavalier that I had that I busted my butt all summer, made the money for it, I paid 500 bucks cash for it. And my <laughs> uncle Will and I, we tore through it and got it all fixed. He's like, you know, you need a beater for your first vehicle. So we tore through that whole thing, fixed it all up. And I drove the snot out of that sucker. <laughs> <laughs> My first truck was a 1982 Chevy short box pickup. 
and I wish I still had it today. Uh, it had a pretty hot little 305 in it, way more than I needed at the time. And uh, like half throttle, I'd leave red lights sideways. I did a lot in that truck I shouldn't have. <laughs> it was fun, a little hot rod, drop, full uh, Phantom grill on it. His mom hated that truck. Yeah, I could park it at TJ's idling, and we lived at the back end, and she could hear it yeah. from the house. Blah, 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 blah. It was noisy. <laughs> yeah. I mean, from a very little age, young age, I was into shaving door handles and vet mm -hmm. lights on trucks and, you know, every little, any little custom mod I could come up with. So I was doing what I could with what I had. My truck's a 2015 GMC Sierra. Um, it was bone stock work truck when we bought it in 15 yes in october of 2015 um we actually were at last resort walking around and i was like i want a full size and two weeks later there she is yeah i went and found uh, one yeah <laughs> yeah we found what i wanted and uh he did all the work to it in our driveway in like six months that truck is running an infamous front and rear setup um flam specialties bags uh, it's got, I actually deleted the electronic power steering because it gave us a headache and locked up and I didn't even want to mess with the warranty guys. So it's actually running a 07 to 13 hydraulic steering setup with a Corvette power steering pump. So a lot of people don't know that. Mm -hmm. um, I tubbed it, I did all the sheet metal work. I did the bed liner, which I need to redo. Um, we had matte uh, painted, color matched all the fender flares, the mirrors, some dash pieces really brought the truck together. It gives it a good sport truck look. The wheels are 24 inch Lux 8s, I believe they are. Mm. And uh, she picked them out after we had trashed a couple of other wheels <laughs> and I couldn't get replacements anymore. We picked those out and put them on. Matt Ramirez at Auto Body Solutions and Groves helped me uh, do the body work and color match the fender flares, the front bumper, the grill, all the door handles. And we did some interior pieces to kind of clean it all up. That's an older style rear bumper also, so it doesn't have the steps in the corners. They're smooth. We have plans yes. soon to do a full custom interior on it. Rubber. We have a- we have, still got rubber yeah. floors. <laughs> Being that, so this is my daily. I go get groceries, this is what I drive. Gotta go to the school, doctor, whatever. This is my daily. That's, I mean, she's not the prettiest of things because she's drove everywhere. You know, we go Shopping anywhere, that's evil. what we take. Um, but we did just recently get a Tahoe that's going to become the daily. So once it's the daily, this is, there's a lot that's six and a half into this one. My truck is a 2010 Chevrolet Silverado. I did a four inch body drop. It has in, uh, Fat Fab's front kit with an infamous wishbone in the back. The paint is sour apple green. Uh, I tubbed it, sheet metal intake to clear the hood with the body drop. 24 inch Dove Chettas that were powder coated by Tim over at TDC Wheel Repair in Beaumont. He does an awesome job. I actually bought that truck with the intention of building a pre-runner looking type truck. And then I wasn't happy with a bunch of the parts and they didn't fit right and I could fix it, but it was gonna last six or seven months before it cracked. And I was gonna be rebody working it and I just didn't want to go down that road. And uh, so she got an I told you so. She was telling me to bag it from day one. So I traded off all the parts I had and Ended up with what with this, <laughs> and uh, uh, same thing. I built it in the driveway. It took me about four and a half months to do all the air ride, the body drop, the engine work, exhaust, and then about two and a half, three months it took. Same thing. Matt over at Auto Body Solutions helped me paint it. We spent I don't know how many well just about every night for three months. I'd work my 12 hours at work, come home, grab her, we'd scoot over there and sand body panels till one in the morning. Go home, take a nap, and go back to work. Yeah. And that's how she got to where she is now. The building the truck really didn't, I didn't work on it that much. We actually, I did the front and rear kits in a weekend in the rain <laughs> because I had a tent. I was like, I gotta get this thing done. And I got about mm -hmm. halfway into it and I was like, you know, at that time I had just finished helping Chris with the red truck, the Sierra. And, uh, so I'm figuring stuff in my head as I go along and I was like, a fuel cell, an intake, a couple, you know, a stick of sh steel. I'm only a few hundred dollars away from bodying this thing. I can't body everybody else's and not do mine. So I ordered the metal, grabbed an intake. Actually, I stole the intake, it's for the S10. 
Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, and then I had a fuel cell made. It's bodied. <laughs> the, a lot of people don't notice it, but that's actually a 2010 Dodge Ram rear bumper that I reshaped to match the lines of the Chevy. It's just cleaner. I didn't want all the plastic pieces and it flows in well. So I have also have a 1970 Chevrolet Nova. I have, I bought it in San Diego, California when I was stationed out there for the Navy. Uh, rust free California car. I paid 1500 bucks for it and I could have drove it home. I actually, that's a fun story too. I towed it home through the grapevine with my bagged S10. So I bought it up um, Visalia near Bakersfield. You don't know about that area at all? I bought it in Visalia or Exeter actually. And uh, I was stationed in San Diego, picked it up. I, I was supposed to use a buddy's Z71 and he had something come up last minute, backed out on me like as I was leaving. So I jumped on the computer. I found a RV place that sold grease hitches from my S10. Took the roll pan off, threw it in the bed, bolted a, the receiver up. Uh, I told U-Haul I was hauling a Volkswagen Super Beetle, <laughs> like a 60s or whatever. <laughs> and uh, so they'd give me the trailer, went, loaded the Nova up, and I drove it all the way home with that on the trailer. It was nuts. I got thumbs up from big rigs because I was passing them. <laughs> and they're like, look at this. <laughs> it was awesome. Right now it's got a small block and a four speed. I've got a six liter LS, six speed, and a few other goodies waiting to go in it. If I quit playing with mini trucks, you painted one part of it. You know? I did. I was supposed to be cleaning out the garage one day. Yeah. And uh, at the old house. And I found this can of red spray paint. I want to paint the car red. And I sprayed a little bit. And before I knew it, half the car was red. She walks out. You're supposed to be cleaning the garage. So <laughs> I'm doing experiments here. <laughs> we have um, three kids that live with us. Um, Keely, Gary, and Emma. Uh, Keely's 11, Gary's 6 and Emma's two. Um, Keely's our redheaded she-devil. <laughs> She's super sweet, but flaming red hair and has that look to kill. Yeah. Um, Gary is just like we are. I mean, this kid was born with a wrench in his pocket too. Oh, he's worse than I mean, I was. It's, it's awesome <laughs> to see how he is. Um, very smart, intelligent kid. And Emma is just a ball of fun. Yeah, like she's, she's constantly hilarious. dancing and talking and she loves all the trucks. And so that's a big Pushing deal with her. Around, yeah. Making noises. Yeah. <laughs> so Keely, yeah. when she was little, I used to have a 86 Toyota 4Runner. Yes. Had a little bit of a lift on it. Nothing, nothing fancy. It was just, you know, paid cash for it, got me to and from work, but we had a blast with this thing, you know? And, um, Keely was one and a half ish range and I was changing the oil in it one day and she comes running out there and she's like, you doing? And I was like, I'm changing the oil. And she's like, well, what's this and what's that and what's that? And so I'm telling her what everything is and she's laying right there under the truck with me when was, you know, it's draining. And then we go to the top and she wants to put the oil in and the whole shebang, like she was right there every step of the way, you know, so she's, She's always kind of had an interest in it, but now that she's older, you know, and she's like, I don't want to get dirty. I'm like, yeah, yeah it's okay. So we'll see what I want to ride in it and look cool. <laughs> yeah. All all of the kids, it they're gonna have to learn to drive a manual. Yeah, I'm putting you manual know, in it. You know, it's gonna be a manual. So look, you're gonna be busy. If you can drive a manual, you can drive pretty much anything. Yeah. Because there ain't nothing. It might be different. It might be huge. Whatever, you know, big rig, whatever. You can make it move if you can drive yeah. a stick. No. That's an abomination to own anything stock. My company truck has a, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> Even our little Z125s, we've already done stuff to them and have plans to do more, you know, like nothing. Yeah. The BMX bikes are also all custom. Everything. Um, I think it's definitely and part addiction and part just how I express myself. I'm yeah. not a big emotional guy. I just kind of go with the flow and do whatever's, you know, the world can be falling around, down around me. And I just, well, there's nothing, if there's nothing I can do about it, then I'm not getting worked up about it. And I move on. But with the cars, whatever I put into it's me. It don't, you know, sometimes it's what everybody else is doing. Well, it's what I like. I yeah. don't care. They, if it's a fad, it'll be gone next year. So I don't care. I am not have the only one again. <laughs> it's the passion. I mean, and it's a passion that we both are really involved in and, a lot of a lot of why I personally love to do all of it is because 
A lot of my truck, I didn't get to do for health reasons, but every chance that I felt good enough to go out there and do it, you know, these are memories that we're making together as a couple. Right. And then shows and all that's memories that we have for the kids and stuff. So it, it literally is our life to, you know, we get something, we talk about what we're gonna do to it, how we're gonna do it, start getting stuff. And we're hand in hand doing it all, you know, step by step. And right. that's that's what drives me to do it is that's, you know, when I'm old and gray and we're racing our custom wheelchairs in the nursing home, I want to be able to look back and say that's what we did together. This, right. this is our life and we're building it. It don't even have to be mine. I like seeing something that I built with my hands or did with my hands go down the road. And that just makes the happiest feeling for me. Seeing something I did done and working and just, man, that thing looks awesome and I helped. It's oh Tim blowing up at Peggy Drag. Oh, that was great. <laughs> that was fantastic. Uh, uh, we were going to Turkey Drag 2013, 14. 14. 2014. Uh, I just finished up my V8 swap. I was super excited. We towed it up to Tyler. It was still over at the move, the drive-in. Yeah, I was so excited. We get to the hotel, I unload it, and uh, it was just us. We didn't get a lay without the kids very often back then. And uh, so we were just really excited for the weekend and it was cold, cold enough that the engine was running too cold. So I clicked my fans off and we cruise in and get in line to pull into the show. And we're laughing and cutting up and pointing out, look at this truck, look at that one driving by. And uh, before we know it, my radiator cap pops and fills the cab full of steaming coolant. <laughs> um, Cook the fans back on. I looked down. There wasn't a whole lot I could do. We were able to drive it into the show. Yeah. I let it sit for probably three hours and come back to it to check it all out. And the I popped the cap and it blew off anyway. Up my arm, burnt my arm, covered Jason Martinez's pretty S10 up. Got it all back together. Mm -hmm. It drove itself back on the trailer. The, uh, the engine was okay. It just got hot. Uh, but it cracked the trans cooler that was in the radiator and filled the transmission with strawberry milkshake. <laughs> it looked like Pepto-Bismol <laughs> yeah. just pouring out. It was so amazing. I was like, it needs to have, it's a hot rod. It needs three pedals anyway. We ditched it. I think I definitely owe a lot of it to my dad. He taught me to work the way I do. It don't matter how much I don't want to do work or whatever. Kids and whatnot need it, so I don't stop. She tells me I'm the energizer sometimes. Bunny, because <laughs> I do. 12 or 16 hours at work and then, all right, do you need anything? No, okay, and I'm, then I'm in the garage for another six or eight or whatever I can get away with. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, really the only person that I would say other than, you know, him would be my Uncle Will, you know, he's he's my hero. He's, him and my Aunt Kim are pretty much who, why I am the way I am, you know, they're the whole foundation of who I am today, you know. Well, guys, I hope you liked our video. If you did, go like and subscribe to Built the Cruise on YouTube and check out the website, builtthecruise.com. And follow them on Instagram. If you want to see future posts, be sure to punch that notification bell. Bloopers are the best. Definitely. <laughs> go ahead. Oh, you do it. No, I don't mess it up no. once. It's your turn. <laughs> this is like that buttery, flaky crust yeah. thing. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and she says it like all the time. He's like, you do it. She's like, butter, you're going to have to go rest. So you put rear bumpers on both trucks? Yes. Yeah. We like to replace the booty. <laughs> That's a gag, right? <laughs> yes. yes. You made it. 24-inch uh, dub Chettas that were fiber, or, uh, fiberglass. <laughs> I'm glad he's doing that because I don't know why every time he's doing that, I just want to be like, <laughs> 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 <laughs>